Hey guys, you're here for the latest update on Tropical Storm Samuel. Storms intensified from earlier today. Um, today is the 24th of August 2024, and Samuel has now become a tropical storm, um, quickly intensifying as well as the model runs had predicted as well. Um, now with winds of 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 991 millibars, I believe. Um, it's currently moving west at 5 miles per hour, located at 14.8 degrees north, 33.6 degrees west. Um, and uh, the satellite imagery does look better than that of the earlier update. Um, this is from the NOAA satellite um, over Tropical Storm Samuel at the moment. Um, the ISS um, should fly over that within the next few hours, um, so we may, we may or may not get some images of the storm. Um, looks though, looking very good, um, I, would, I must have to say about the storm. Um, looks as though that uh, the model runs could come true um, about the Florida landfall now because a lot of the model runs are now actually all agreeing more or less with each other um, around about an area between um, Miami and Jacksonville is a possible certainty for landfall there and they are now they are now pretty sure um, that it will be a major hurricane at landfall um, so we better watch out um, and watch this system this could be a developing story now we'll go on to the forecast track next. You see the forecast track here and also Samuel's current data. Um, the storm is um, going to sort of move slightly more northwards um, as a tropical storm, possibly becoming a hurricane on the 26th. And then uh, the forecast does have it jumping from category 1 to 3. Um, around about the 27th, 28th, uh, maybe halfway, maybe midday, 27th, they're expecting to become a major hurricane. Um, and then um, possible slight bumping southwards a little bit, but then um, it's too far out at the moment. But it looks as though that the storm could start to curve back a bit more northwards and make landfall, uh, possibly one or two landfalls in the Bahamas and also then onto mainland um, the United States in Florida. So now we'll go on to the model runs and see what they have in store for us. And again, um, model runs are all concurrent with a Florida landfall there. Um, a bit unsurety as to where it goes north or south from here. And then uh, landfall in the Bahamas is almost certain, as well as Florida as well. Um, not much else to say on that. Um, next update will be out tomorrow on August 25th. 